here, I'm Queer, and it's time for a Medicore video. Insert snazzy intro here, cause I'm not talented enough to create one. Yeah! Hey every people, so today is day two of Vlogmas, and I'm gonna read a short story I wrote when I was 14. Now, to give some, uh, preface, I forgot until two weeks ago that I ever wrote these short stories, cause when I was like 13 to 14, I had a Wattpad, and I wrote a lot of stories on there. I had a NaNoWriMo story I wrote on up on there. It's the unedited version, because the edited version does exist. I just haven't posted it. And I had like a Loki fan fiction, and I had short stories, and just a lot of like writing pieces on there. And I forgot that I wrote a little three-part I had a little three-part story that was all different short stories that I wrote. That was like short story extravaganza, and I had I had no idea I wrote this. I completely forgot until a couple weeks ago. My friend Meredith, who uh, when I was 14, I wrote a like animal lock, so Sherlock, but anim as animals. It was based off of this writing prompt that I somehow turned into Sherlock. And it was, it was great. Now I had no idea I wrote these stories. I completely forgot about them until two weeks ago when my friend Meredith, who I was friends with when I was 14 and I'm friends with now, uh, when I was 14, I wrote a short story in that short story extravaganza that I dedicated to them. And they apparently, they apparently changed Wattpad accounts like right before I dedicated the story to their old account so they didn't see it until now and then a few weeks ago they commented on the short story like hey I just saw this now because I changed accounts and just like ah like thank you for dedicating the story to me and I was just like hey and I was like wait I wrote these what when ah short stories oh my goodness nostalgia and I'm gonna make a video on them so uh, I, there's actually, the one I wrote for Meredith is a very silly and nice short story. Then there's another one in there that I really, really, really love, honestly. I think it's great, and I still like it now. The way I would edit it now, I would change a couple things and actually make the like, cut off the ending sooner, but I love it a lot. And then the one I'm going to read today is going to be the one I don't really like of those three short stories, because I was like... First, I was like, why don't I read the nice one? I was just like, that's not gonna be as entertaining. I should read the one that makes me cringe the most because that, that'll be better. So this short story is called Good Girls or Bad Girls That Haven't Been Caught. And it is a um, song fic, lyric fic. Yeah, song fic, because those were a big thing in the 2014s, 2014, uh, where you like wrote a fic where you had like a lyric from a song, then a paragraph, and a lyric from a song, and the paragraph like continuing on. And I did that for the song Good Girls or Bad Girls That Haven't Been Caught by Five Seconds of the Summer because I was a really, really big fan of Five Seconds of the Summer and this story makes me cringe a, a, a good bit. So I was just like, I'm gonna share it. So here we go. So She said to me, forget what you thought. Whoa, uh, Caitlin, why do you have, uh, I, I thought you were, I stutter looking at the object in her hand, terrified and confused. Yeah, I know, I'm the goody-goody, the teacher's pet, the angel, she replies sarcastically, because good girls are bad girls that haven't been caught. Still, why do you have, uh, uh, a stutter stone shock? What, a shooty thing? Shooty thing? Yeah, I have a gun. Good girls are the... Are only the bad girls I haven't been caught, you know. I hear that good saintly Janie is Lady of the Night, she gossips to me. When I was 14, I really liked the term Lady of the Night. I don't know why. But you were always the good one. The only kid in our school that hasn't ever gotten in trouble, ever, for anything. You always dressed pink and good and girly and not like I gestured to her outfit, which consisted of black short shorts, a sleeveless t-shirt with the Nirvana logo, a blue beanie, and well, a gun. Yeah, well, Janie's a whore and I'm in a gang. Who would have thought? One, ah, uh, uh, why did I use the word whore? And two, I like how I think so a 14 year old me thought someone in gang would wear black short shorts. And like, oh uh, yes, that is totally appropriate gang attire. Cause good girls are bad girls that haven't been caught. You're what? I exclaimed, yep. She replies, popping the pee. I start to reach for my phone in my back pocket to call the police 911 someone if i could just hit the emergency button my location will be sent to the police and everything will be recorded i don't know if fo do phones have an emergency button like that I, I i don't know but in my story they apparently do really you're gonna tattle on me i expect to 
expected more from you, Clark. She tests, pointing the gun at me. Phone. Hand it to me, she orders. Damn it. I reach into my pocket and pull it out. I can't try anything now or she'll see. I reluctantly pass it over to her. That's better. You've really always been the good girl between us. She says with a smile and then stomps on my phone with her heel. Can't take any chances. Sorry. I really doubt she is. Uh, Caitlin, I asked, terrified. Yeah, please don't shoot me. I beg, looking at the gun still pointed at me. So just turn around and forget what you saw. <laughs> Look, how about you just forget? get about all this and then I won't have to shoot you she replies uh, okay please please don't shoot me I won't tell anyone no one will believe me anyway thanks Clark I owe you she replies and I nod backing away and then turning around and running a sharp fire as my left leg explodes with pain I fall to the ground the sound of gunfire echoes through the alley I hear footsteps coming closer but barely registering in my mind sorry Clark but good girls are just the bad girls that haven't been caught, and I don't want to be caught. Nothing personal. She says in a tone that sounds almost sympathetic, then points the gun at me, and the last thing I register in my mind before it all goes black is Caitlin's face and the sound of gunfire ringing in my ears as my death song. Because good girls are bad girls that haven't been caught. And then, here you go! This short story is based off of this song by Five Seconds Summer, Good Girls. Hope you liked it. This is dedicated to St. Blue Wolf. Who Please star and comment. Hope you liked it. <laughs> Alright, so that's just short stories, 14 year old me wrote, and just, I'm very, like, uh, a bit cringe, because it's just like a stereotypical, like, thing for a 14 year old on Wattpad to have written, it's like a song pick, it's five seconds of summer, and also just Nirvana shirt, black short shorts, blue beanie, and also, like, the slightly, like, the problematic language, like, the W word, because I, I know now that it's not really the best thing you, sh you should say, and I try to not say it, I've been trying to not say it lately, and just I'm just like, ah, and I'm just very cringe, but also very nostalgic. And let me know if you'd want to see that good story. I quite like it. It involves dragons and bricks, so the, the dragons are not harmed, I promise. The dragon, no dragons are harmed in the making of that story. So let me know if you'd want to see me reading that and you'd want to hear that, either like during this vlogmas or some other time and I might do that and I'll also I can link my uh, wet pad below so that you can look at that short story extravaganza and also the other things 14 year old me wrote if, if you wish and be sure to like and comment and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow so until next time I was here I'm still consistently queer hope this wasn't too mad a video snazzy outro music snazzy outro music Stasi outro music, please subscribe.